Welcome to another TGC Tours Dream Team uh, course playthrough. Today we are playing the Brentwood Club by Jivenator, who's representing Team Red. Uh, this is where my age kicks in. I know I've played Jive's courses. Charlie's here. He'll tell me which ones I've played. But, um... Oh, that's nice. Charlie's going to harass the YouTube vote, the guys, too. Oh, yeah, the Shambling Shabaroon. That was fun. Coos. Ranmore. Okay, there we go. Thanks, guys. Um, so he's, got, he's got a good, impressive uh, list of courses out there. Many, whom, many of whom have um, hosted tour events. He has come by his spot here, honestly. Uh, interesting plot and uh, environment we got here. Okay, we'll look at some of this other stuff when we get there. I'm going to start with a par 5. It, it really has kind of an unfinished look to it. Let's see if it grows on me as we go. It very well might. Oh, it's your burner, Charlie? Oh. Hmm. I'm just trying to take this in right now. There's some mounding there that was interesting. Yeah, this kind of looks like a bit of a muni. Well, that's, that's, um, yeah, that's not going in. They don't, they're so inspired by courses that aren't munis. It kind of has that feel to it right now. Just in that there's, it's, is plain the word I want? I'm not sure. There's just, cause I guess cause there isn't really any planting, right? All right, Axel, have a good one, man. I mean, the green, the greens are definitely not muni um, inspired. Kick it. Kick it. Sorry, I should have told you which way to kick it. Okay, you better hit this fairway or you're in trouble. That's one hell of a green there. I kind of wonder if this would have been better for the par 5, this green. If it might have played better. Because par 5 was a bit on the easy side. Now, and, but then again, you know what? Easy par 5 followed by difficult par 4. Maybe that's the idea. Uh, it's not a good thing when they show my golfer for forever. Yeah, the fairways are pretty narrow. Which isn't my favorite thing. And I, I think, I think in some ways I'd want the player on the fairway because then maybe it would bring some of that ground game in a bit more. If you're in the rough, you just kind of slash it, right? I don't know. Oh, okay, yeah, like Rivia, that's fair. And then we go five bills par five, par uh, par four. Was it was that downhill a bit? I know it's downwind, but it was like that was a bit downhill too. So it doesn't play it. Into the wind, it'll be a bit of a test for you though. I 
That green is super long. It's $4.99 to that pin. What the hell is it to the back? Uh, I think the correct answer is a lot. That is a massive green. Mm. It's interesting that it's wide open everywhere and then you get to the green and there's all of a sudden a bunch of trees right on top of it. Hey, G-Dog, how's it going, buddy? Yareet. And then we've got ourselves two fitty par f par three. Wow, this course is just beating you over the head. Big, big inviting green to hit it into. Ah, good, good. I mean, dream team is hard to be and hard to be disappointed by. And then, I don't know if they've officially completed the signing yet, but Newcastle has Trippier, Trippier? How does he pronounce, la pronounce his last name? Anyways, it's all but done, so that makes me happy. Because, you know, he's a player that can play. We need a couple of those. Oh, that thing snapped at the end. So, yeah, I'm getting a, a kind of narrow... But, like, narrow and long is what I'm getting out of this course. And fairways and greens. Have fun with that one, boys. Trippier? I thought it was Trippier. I couldn't remember. Because he, he, uh, he played for his last year in the Euros, right? He was quite good. Being a Canadian, I see that spelling and I immediately think Trippier. But... Just a little kind of niggle this with a left to right wind, this tree feels like it's in the way. I don't know if it is. It just feels it though. I'm gonna draw this anyways. Try to keep it on the fairway. Green's just a little bit, dare I say, boring? I mean, the, the sloping isn't. Cheese will be in play. I kind of got that sense, but I often misjudge it. What do we have for green? I haven't even looked at speeds. 178. Okay. We got the pin on the yellow slope. So we've just made a shortish par four, and then we've just made the green really sloped as our kind of defense for it. Okay. And as, as the fantastic putter that I am, this kind of pin gives me nightmares. Choice. Okay. Five ten. Holy crap. There's a lot of sticker shock on this one. Now, it's still not going to play as long as what you think it would yardage wise. Just because we hit the ball so far, but there's some sticker shock when you keep seeing 500 plus yard par fours. Use that nicely. Almost missed that. Beautiful.
Yeah, it's not always just about length. It's just... In this one, it is, kind of. Okay, I gotta read the green here. Um... This one's gonna be rolling. Hmm. Get it right. Um. What are the courses this thing's inspired by? Kick it right. Oh no. Okay, yeah, those are definitely not reunis. That's for sure. <laughs> it does have a like it in air like in Aries. It does have that feel to it. I'm not sure if that was the intention, or if there was so many inspirations that it, I don't know. Now we get a shortish par four. Well, not shortish. It's under 400 yards. It's short. Yeah, I mean Bel Air definitely isn't. Riviera definitely isn't. Los Angeles Country Club definitely isn't. Those are all courses that um, don't allow my kind on them. I like that um, view there. The way that the bunkering and the mounding in front of the green kind of, blo hold, or kind of blocks your view of it. That's really well done. It's subtle. And it's cool. And then, is this a massive runoff behind? Yeah, it is. I don't mind that. I'm just, I'm not sure how often that's going to come into play. Because you should be just hitting a flip in there. Hmm. I like the idea, though. I mean, I did get it into the wind, so... Nah, even downwind, you should be able to stop it. Yeah, I've, I've given up looking at cart paths because they're so hard to do well, and I just, I don't ever find that they enhance the course any. Uh, this might not make it to the bunker, which is going to be bun beneficial for me. Okay, what do we got left? Okay, we can get there. Yeah, I like, so this, I like this green complex. I like the way that you've got that front and left is all, um... It is just running away. Uh, I think that's a really good choice on a par five. And then if you bail right, you're screwed. <laughs> Not sure what that is. This is a par four. Oh my god, it is. Okay, again, sticker shock. Well, it would have been a really short par 5, so... That's okay. I. What's par on this, 70? 35 out. Yeah, that's a 7,600 yard par 70. Hmm, okay. I just <laughs> kind of assumed that was a par 5 I was playing. I was thinking, okay, we got an easy par 5 now. No, no you don't. I do like the idea of a minimalist line design. That that's something I will say. And I, it's it's cool when people make a course that isn't trying to wow everybody. Um hey Jack. Thank you for that, man. Uh I like I like it when somebody does that and they cre they just try to create a golf course and they don't go crazy on all the objects and all the off course stuff and everything. Um so I'm I'm enjoying that part of it, and I had something else I was just gonna say, and I forgot what the hell it was. 
Oh, well. And I mean, and his greens have made sense for the hole they've been on. Like, that's a little flip green, and it's just kind of narrow, and it's got um got some pretty good mounting around it. This green is maybe a bit on the big side, but he's he's divided it up so it won't play quite so big. There's some subtle stuff in here that's really good. It's the kind of course I think that your casual is going to look at and kind of go, eh, okay. I think that the designers will look at it and see a lot of things that he's done that are going to really, he, they're going to really love. And then there's going to be people like me who are going to be in between, who are going to catch some of it, but not all of it. Custom house coming up. Okay, cool. Yeah, but the bunkering's been really good. Uh, like overall, it's routing here is a little bit iffy. Oh wow! Couldn't see it already. Let's go have a let's go have a little boo at that. Jeez, that's wild. So th this is a course in or a, a house that's under construction. That's cool. And this doesn't look like a you know cheap neighborhood that this is being built in. Yeah, he's done a great job with the way he's um he's created this look of it being um being built, like with the studs on the floor and the drywall and everything. It looks like what it is, a course or a house that's being built is not done yet. <laughs> that's cool. Okay, what did I leave myself? Kind of what I wanted. That's a pin. Bail. Nope. Cool little par three though, or par four. I mean, um, be easy to be tempted to try and smash a driver up there. It'd be brain to do it, but be easy to be tempted. And then that pin just makes that hole much more difficult than it would be otherwise. Hang on. Do I want to be? Yeah, kind of. Kind of want to be more to the right, but I want to be on the fairway more than anything here. <laughs> um yeah this would be a lot into the wind so again you can't just i mean a couple of these greens they really for me would work better as this one's not so bad but when you got it like nine nine had that big slope on the right hand side and then it was basically a mirror of this except this slope here was a lot bigger that to me is more of a par 5 green where you can't, if you bail up here, you're dead. Down here is no fun. Can't really lay up because it's a par 4. It'd be cool if you could on a par 5.
This and this hole's not quite like that. This one's toned down from that. Same idea though. It's it's everything's sloping left to right, and then it just falls off on the right. Here you can miss it right or left though, and not be completely screwed. Go sideways. Oh, you bugger. Oh, he should have put a willow in just to piss you off, Charlie. I would have been all in on that. Have we had like a short par three yet? I don't feel like we have. But this is look a cool looking like uphill Redan. Can I get this? Come on. Get over there. <laughs> that was fun. That was cool. Ground game for the win. Hey there, map collector. Did you change your name at some point? I don't remember that name and it didn't show his um, first chat. Yeah, that's cool. For a second there, I was afraid I'd missed it and it was going to hang on me and I would have been upset. Mm. The bunkering is really growing up. The green complexes are really growing on me. Hey, South Nine. Why well, can't? Well, I mean, you can, I guess. It's just on a par four, you're supposed to get there in two shots, right? You'd lay up if you hit it in the rough. If if I hit my drive in the fairway, and I can't get there in two on a par four, then my question is, why not? It's, I mean, overall, this course has seemed to require some pretty good precision. But it has given ground game opportunities at times, too. And I think that's when it's been my favorite. This one was requiring precision big time. And it's pin dependent, too. Right? I'm sure there's other pins that play a little differently. The bunkering here is pretty wild. It feels like it's a little bit more decorative. Because as long as you keep it on the fairway, you shouldn't really ever have to worry about it. That's fine. That's not played high enough. No, I mean, I, I'm probably one of the most staunch people when it comes to what par is supposed to be. Um, I just go by what the rules say, right? Par is defined as the number of strokes a, a scratch player would be expected to reach the green Fox plus two. He is. He was. I. Hmm, this is narrow. And uphill. I mean, you have to hit this fairway, otherwise you're going to be in for some some hurt. It's going to take a while to get there. Still have three twenty to go. Uh, I'm not even going to. What do I have left if I just go to the end here? Buck 27. Okay, cool. Welcome aboard, man. I just was a little thrown when I saw the name and I didn't recognize it, but then I didn't see it. Like, normally it'll say first comment, so I get maybe you've been here before and I just missed it. That's entirely possible. Sometimes chat moves pretty quickly in here and, uh, well, I'm not at an age to be able to handle that, so... Yeah, this is just a brute. You gotta keep, and you have you have to keep it in the fairway. 
or you're gonna well if you keep it if you miss the fairway then you're gonna have to hit it in the sliver here so it's just gonna make it's gonna make it play a good bit longer but it's not gonna be unplayable And I just figured out Brentwood Club. <laughs> I was around for OJ. How the hell did I not pick up on Brentwood Club? Yeah, I mean, it's, so that's a three shot par five every day of the week, right? So you start out with that super reachable par five to kick things off. And then if I remember Riviera correctly, I feel like 16 is a three shot par five there. 16 or 17, somewhere towards the end of the back nine, there's a, a three shot par five. It's a par 71, so there's another par five somewhere that is escaping me at the moment. And then 18 is uh, that dog leg right up the hill with the amphitheater green. And then we've got this bruising par four, but he's given us room, which I like. Hmm. Oh, I thought that would kick it right, that slope. Come on over. Nope. Nope. Well, because you got the Xbox, Charlie? Yeah. I will say that this might be a course where the designer's reputation lets him get away with a couple of things like not planting. Um, but not just that, the fact that a lot of his hole designs make a hell of a lot of sense too. So it's not just a reputation thing. This is like the reverse 18 at, um, Riviera. It's like, it's like, it's, it's like a mirror. It's like mirrored. It, it kind of, it's like, not exactly, but. No, I, and that's not what I mean right now. What I mean is that how it's going to be received by the community. This is a core. I mean, this is, and so one of the things that new designers often complain about is they don't get the benefit of the doubt, right? And, oh, I missed this. Good Lord. And so I can hear them saying, if I created a course and I didn't plant and I made it like this, I would get roasted for not planting it. And I kind of see their point. Now, the counter to that I would give would be the holes play really well. And the vision he had worked really well. And he's, this. you can see the skill in the, des <laughs> there's his planting. You can see the skill in the design that lets him get away with that. But if it was, I don't know. And it, it's a tough one, right? How much of it is it's Jives' of course. So we're like, okay, well it's Jives. He knows what he's doing. And how much of it is it's just that good. And that's a debate that probably will never end. And it's okay. There's always gonna be subjectivity, right? So, what are my thoughts on this one? Uh, it's tough. <laughs> it's the first thing I'll say. It's a tough course. When you've got 7,600 yards and it's a par 70, 
it's gonna be it's gonna be rough. We've got how many par five par fours over five hundred yards? One, two, three, four. Only four. I felt like it was more than that. And then we've got a four ninety something somewhere. The last was four eighty six, four ninety two. Yeah, it's it's a long. I think the only co I think the only hole you really have a chance to get there in lesson regulations the first. I don't think there's a drivable par four anywhere, which I'm fine with. I'm absolutely fine with. Um. So yeah, this is this is a course where it's basically it's it's going to be difficult. Um, you're not going to get any freebie birdies anywhere except the first hole maybe. I do feel the ninth is a bit much. Yeah, I completely agree, Scoot. Drivable par fours are way overdone. I, I don't mind there not being one here. I, th nine is a maybe a bit much. I think I might have gotten it into the wind, and it was driver three wood. I, th that green just that that whole screams par five to me. I would almost rather if we lengthen it a hair and make it a par five. I don't know. At the end of the day, like sixty six is sixty six, right? Doesn't really matter what par is, but. It's it's it'd be interesting. Um, I think this is going to be one that I, this is my prediction, and we'll see if I'm right. I think the hardcore designer is going to just gush over a lot of things that Jives has done here, and he's they're going to see things I can't I don't know how to see, and they're just going to be like, oh, that's amazing how he's done this, and I love how he's done this, and this is great. I think your casual is going to look at it and kind of go, eh, okay, because they want you know. They want spectacular, they want waterfalls, they want all that other stuff. And I think, you know, serious players like myself are going to be somewhere in between, where I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see some of what he's done. I'm not going to see all of it. So it's probably a good thing I'm not judging this, because I'm going to miss a lot of the skill that he's used to create this course. I'm pretty sure of that. I would be really interested to see Ben's playthrough on this, because he's going to come at it from a much more technical, like, design point of view. And I guarantee you when I watch his, um, there'll be stuff I, I, I didn't see that I'll be like, oh, okay. I'll be like, oh, okay. So, um, so my, I, it's kind of an incomplete evaluation if that's what I'm doing because of my own limitations, I think. I think that's where I come down to. Um, love some of the shots. So that par three that um that had the Redan, the part that I hit three went into was great. I enjoyed that shot a lot. I think it's a really good course. It's tough, and it's um it's nice playing a tough course that isn't tricked up. It's just long, right? And it's just it's difficult, but it's it's never at any point unplayable. It's just birdie is hard to come by. I love that. So if you're watching on YouTube, thank you for the view. Uh, make sure you hit like so more people can see the great courses that these guys create. I will be back with another playthrough soon, but for now I'm going to say cheers.